Morning, Sheldon. Um, I guess it started off with the easy one. How did it feel uh, to, to get that first sack out of the way uh, this week and <laughs> hit your uh, your customary dance? Yeah, man. It's always good to get a uh, it's always get a good uh, to get a good shimmy on film, you know. Uh, but man, listen, it's always good to. Uh, to, to, to get a sack and, and be able to help this defense and uh, be able to make plays. So, um, listen, y'all know what I expect from myself. That's the standard. Uh, week in, week out, be able to make plays, make plays in the backfield, pressure the quarterback, get sacked. So, uh, I look forward to more of myself doing the same thing. Was that, uh, do you think, your, your most disruptive game this year? Do you feel like you're, you're still kind of getting back to where – where you want to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, each week's a growing process. Uh, you know, anybody that's been through uh, injuries like these and rehabs like these will tell you it's not a finite science. It's not a, oh, at this point you're going to feel like this or at this point you'll feel like that. It's uh, each one's different. Each injury's different. Each rehab's different. Each timeline's different. So um, each week I'm trying to grow. Each week I'm trying to get better. And, and feel better out there and, and get back to doing the things that, that I'm accustomed to doing. And I think uh, this past Monday night was a step in the right direction, and we just got to continue to build on it. Next question from Amy Just. Yeah, um, you popped up on the injury report last week um, with a thumb uh, kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, what happened, if you don't mind talking about that? <laughs> um, it's practicing hard. Uh, just... You know, we're always, you know, emphasizing, uh, trying to force turnovers. And um, just went for a punch on the ball and, you know, kind of hit my thumb on somebody's elbow. And, you know, that, that, that's kind of pretty much was the <laughs> was the the cause of everything. Um, you know, just kind of had to club it up, cast it up, and, and, you know, to be able to play with it. But all in all, it's football. You know, uh, I wasn't going to allow something like that to, to keep me off the field. Next question is from Rob Walker. Hey, Sheldon, just going into the uh, to the bye week, where do you feel like this team is right now? And, you know, what are the few things that you think y'all really need to work on improving? Especially uh, listen, I think we're a team that's faced a lot of adversity. Uh, but um, the one thing you know about this team is when we face adversity, we usually come out on top. So... Um, I think going into the bye week, you know, you're happy with where you're at with three and two, uh, knowing you haven't played your best football, knowing your best football is ahead of you, uh, knowing you're, you're not in the rhythms you want to be in, you know, uh, in, in any phase of the game. So, um, listen, we'll take three and two heading into the bye week, you know, get healthy uh, and, and then come back and get ready for this long stretch of football. But, um we can go into it knowing that our best football is in front of us, and we can be excited about that. Kevin, how much of that do you attribute to just the uh, the strength off season that that you had with no? I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, it's it's you know you can you can attribute it to a lot of things, but at the end of the day, uh, our job is to show up on Sundays and sometimes Mondays. You know, hell, the way the league goes now, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. You know, it don't matter at this point. Uh, our job is to show up on game day and uh, and produce, make plays, and, and help this organization win games. And um, you know we, we've kind of been up and down with that, but you know coming off these last two games, getting two two big wins, um, and that's big. Like I said, going into the bye week three and two, knowing you you still got a lot of room to improve, knowing your best football is in front of you, we'll take it. Next one's from Luke Johnson. Sheldon, you guys have uh, been struggling uh, a bit in the red zone um, and it kind of continued Monday night um, what, what's been the big issue there how do you get that fixed um, that? yeah man it's all about consistency you know and I think uh, we've had you know times you know here as a defense uh, in past years we've been really stout you know in the red zone and and, and been able to keep teams out uh, we just got to be able to hold teams to three. You know, we'll play really great on one play, you know, really great on the next play, and then uh, and, and, and then something will happen where there's a lack of communication or, you know, just some confusion or whatever it may be. But, you know, we, we give up big plays. And the thing about giving up big plays in the red zone, they usually, they're usually touchdowns. So 
you know, you can give up a big play in the middle of the field, stop a guy, still have, you know, 30, 40 yards of field to, to kind of defend. But you give up a big play in the red zone, it's, it's usually six. So, um, yeah, so we just, we just got to continue to grind. We got to continue to work, um, watch the tape, know what teams are going to do down there. And we just got to be more consistent. You know, that's, at the end of the day, can't make any excuses for ourselves. Uh, our red zone defense isn't good enough. We got to get it better. If if we want to achieve the goals we want to achieve, uh, our red zone defense, you know, has to get better. Next one from Amy Just. Yeah, it came out yesterday that the Saints and LSU were meeting um, to maybe play some home games at Tiger Stadium because no fans have been allowed in the dome yet. Um, it's not set in stone or anything yet, but um, how different would that be? Uh, playing a home game outside? <laughs> um, slightly different. Uh, you know, uh, at that point, you know, weather would come into play somewhat, maybe. But uh, at the end of the day, we play away games outside. So it, it's football. So, uh, you know, if, if we got to, you know, head down to Baton Rouge and, and call, you know, Tiger Stadium a, a home game, then, then so be it. You know, we'll go down there and, and handle business just as, as we would, you know, if we're playing in a Superdome downtown. Is that, I guess, just the epitome of the possibilities of how, of just how this year has gone with everything kind of, you know, if you have a plan, kind of just throw it out the window? Yeah, really. I mean, at least at this point, uh, the one thing you can know about this year, you got to be flexible. You got to be able to, you know, <laughs> go with the flow and, uh, and understand that, uh, Anything can come from any direction at any point, and you, you know you got to be able to handle it. So, uh, if that's the way we end up going, then uh, you know, th then so be it. We'll go out there and, and and we'll play great football, and you know, and call it a day. Next one's from Luke Johnson. What'd you think of Marcus Stafford's uh, debut? Um, okay. listen, always good to have him back out there. He's uh. You know, he uh, he had that look in his eye before the game like he was ready, and he came out and played that way. So um, it's always good to have him back out there. You know, he's – you guys know what he is when he's rolling. Uh, so, you know, to get him back out there, get you know, get his feet wet, so to speak, and, and, and kind of, you know, get him back into the swing of things. You know, we're going to need him down this stretch. Uh, he's a big-time playmaker for us. So definitely good to get him back out there and, and, and get him back to disrupting offenses. Between him, Cam, and, and now, like the way Trey's playing, um, you know, how, how good is that rolling for you guys there on, on the edges? Yeah, listen, that's, um, <laughs> that's, that's tough to block. You know, Cam's tough to block alone. Uh, and then you add in, you know, uh, how talented and disruptive Marcus can be when he's healthy. And then the way Trey's playing now, hell, I mean, if you really look at it, the way Trey's always played, you know, anytime he's got an opportunity to go out there and, and, and really showcase his ability, he's always been able to produce and, and be a pressure player, you know, in, in the run game and in the past. So um, that's a tough trio for anybody to deal with. You know, then you add in, you know, Carl as well out there. So um, that's, that's a tough edge combo and, 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 and trio and, and all those guys. Uh, for, for any tackles, you know, to have to watch tape against and get ready to play. And for you, um, do you have any, any sort of, uh, like, personal goal for this year? Um, just, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if it's even, like, sack-based or numbers-based or whatever, but do, is, is there, like, a level you want to hit before, before the, this season's over? Absolutely. Uh, there's always a number. <laughs> There's always a number. I, I'd be lying to you if I sat up here and told you that there wasn't. Uh, you know, that's that, that, that's something I keep to myself. But there are definitely numbers I aspire to hit. Uh, but, you know, all in all, um, just make sure I'm available. Uh, you know, and obviously I, I, I couldn't control uh, the, the kind of the, the, the level of injuries I sustained. Uh, you know, they weren't, you know, sprained ankles or, you know, hamstring pulls or anything like that. You know, they were very serious things I had to deal with. So can't control those. But, you know, all I can control now is making sure I'm available every game. And then um, you guys know what I'm like when I'm when I'm rolling and I'm in a rhythm. So getting back to, to, to that caliber of player, that, that, that level of, 
of player each and every week, you know, down in, down out. Uh, those are the goals I have for myself, and uh, you guys know I won't stop it until I'm at that, you know, at that level of player again.